Ah, I don't know if you guys can see this in the chat window on the screen, but we certainly can see it in the chat on the uh, on Twitch. We are trying out new um, new functions. I'm dueling. Did Mumu just duel me back? Yeah, Mumu dueled me back. And everybody's trying to duel me now. All right, I'm not going to duel. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, watching on Twitch, um, which should be everybody at this point, please come over to Twitch. Migrate your little YouTube account and come over to Twitch and save your Amazon Prime Twitch subscriber uh, voucher. Here's how that works. Actually, I'm going to say this in a very simple way. Um, for those of you that aren't on Twitch, but you do have an Amazon Prime account, that al allows you to get one free subscription to a Twitch channel um, if you join Twitch. So just use that, come over to Twitch, and very shortly I will have my subscriber button live on this channel. I don't have it now, uh, but in the coming week or two, hopefully that soon. Um, it will be live. The reason you want to subscribe is because there will be bonus stuff. There will be advantages to those who are subscribers of this channel. Okay, so. Um, we do have some new, well, we have Shinoda Bucks are, um, have changed a little bit. Um, I know yesterday we talked a little shit about we didn't talk shit about Jeff Bezos. We just acknowledged the fact that we are tiny little flecks of sand in his universe of money and power. Um, it's just the truth. I'm fine with that. I'm fine, be fine being a tiny little fleck of sand in Jeff Bezos' universe of power and money. He's not at this point not directly harming me, but when he sends when he when they create the Amazon army and start raiding houses, then I'm gonna be really sad that I didn't um, join their their cult. I don't know. Um, today, uh, yeah, so my stream died already. That was fun. That wasn't Twitch's fault. That was Spectrum's fault. Thank you, Spectrum the awesome internet. Hopefully that'll get fixed at some point. Um, we're working on it. Um, what happened yesterday? The stream went down. Twitch went down. My channel like disappeared and you couldn't even go into the chat room or find me. Which was interesting. That was a weird day. Um, did you guys catch the Fortnite? Anybody else? We were all he We were here, but it, I watched the, the last, um, sorry, I watched the, uh, some a video a couple videos of the um fortnite season two reveal they had like this like big event yesterday um yeah it was pretty pretty big what's crazy about that event is that they had the event with no like with no um musicians or celebrities or anything like they've been doing like, you know, Marshmello and Travis Scott and all that stuff. And um, yesterday was just a launch event with no, you know, musicians. And it was like one of their biggest ones. It was their biggest one? Maybe it's the biggest one. Um, okay, so a couple updates for the moment. For the moment. Uh, we've got, what's going on? Let me see here. Okay, so um, the bad news. I'm going to start with bad news. The news news, the, no, the, the neutral news, is that um, we've, proper, we've, we've successfully ported over all of your Shinoda bucks to the new platform. So as far as you're concerned, it's not very, really any different. Um, but the link to go find your loyalty points and how to spend them is different. You'll find that underneath the screen here. Um, 
under if you're in the twitch app uh, it's under about uh if you're on the website um if you're in the browser window just scroll down um you'll see a bunch of gifts you can spend your shinoda bucks on gifts on screen over here hopefully those are working now i haven't seen one yet but um honestly i haven't been paying super duper attention um, um yeah binks is trying to put the the link in the um oh there's one there it is look at that very cool super cool guys um here let me just give you the link real quick and here's the link in the chat why is it taking so low oh because i closed my window my bad so, so there's the uh there's the link um i will post it again for those of you that missed it a second ago um that is up you will notice the bad news is we've had some inflation yeah you guys got way ahead of me you blew all of your bucks and my i just want to show you i just want to show you just so you don't know you don't think i'm like just a jerk and crazy and i'm not like tr just trying to make your lives miserable by by increasing the prices let me just show you something real quick these these are these are not including the um oh shit how do i hold on let me just do this real quick okay look look at the amount the sheer volume and keep in mind i still have a full bowl of the bowl of destiny is full of music redemptions but i just want to tell you these are these are not the questions you know how we do questions i've got a hundred questions to answer these are the art themes to redeem right here these are music themes these are the sound and loop redeems and that's on top of all the questions that you're asking i'm i can't keep up with this so in order to slow it down i had to raise the prices because otherwise that is just going to keep happening it's way ahead of me it's way faster than i can keep up with it so we have to raise the prices or else it's the only way to slow it down because i really thought this through i didn't want to have to raise the shinoda bark prices on you guys but it's inevitable there's i i the art themes they take me like between 10 and 20 minutes to do one and i think i've got 20 of them here <laughs> and i can't be on the stream all day or else i won't have the re i'll have like a life um however i did accidentally turn on the music uh redeems yesterday so i do have four more music redemptions to add oh shit and i've only got two pieces of paper folding them in half oh Cut them in half. You want to do it like like high school note style? Back in high school, junior high, I don't know. We used to fold it and then lick that part, fold it again, and then go like this. Tear it nice and straight. Do you know about that? There's like one person in the chat who's like, "Whoa, that just changed my life." What? It's straight and it's easy. It's a straight tear. Yep. Okay, well, that one didn't even tear straight. So I licked paper for no reason. You're right, it's bad. Um, that's like not very sanitary. Um, so the four uh, music redemptions who snuck in there. Maybe I'll do these all. I'll mash all of these up. Um, are Heart Tide. Oops. Heart Tide wants 90s Euro Dance. 
lifeless, mostly synths, lifeless boxy drum samples. I love it. Lifeless <laughs> boxy drum samples. Okay, so that's one. The next one is Patricia. Wants a song in the style of the band Muse, which is tricky because, oh, she called it cosmic. That's cool. That's a cool word. I wish somebody would call my music cosmic. Our friend Peppa Park. Peppa Park is a, he is a very sweet dude. He is very enthusiastic and he likes, he so far has liked to like the descriptions of the thing that he wants me to do are so intense and so long. It's like paragraphs of information to the point where I was like, buddy, give it to me in five words or less. Um, in fact, that's the new rule um, is we got to, <laughs> I love, dude, it's all good. I, it is all good. But that is actually made a good point that I'm on the, on the um, redemptions now. You'll notice that for the art redemption and the song redemption, I said five words or less because the reason is not because I don't want to read that. I, I'm, I'm happy, you guys know, I'm happy reading the questions and reading these, these uh, deep and interesting um, stories. The, the, the reason is with the songs and the art, if, um, if it gets too specific, it, it doesn't allow me space to be creative. So like, you gotta, you gotta give me like a piece, like almost like a fuzzy piece of information that's not clear so that I can take that and go somewhere interesting with it. Okay. So that's what we learned. So he taught me in our little conversation. That's what we learned. Five words. It'll be, it's a fun challenge for you and it'll make it more fun for me. Okay. Peppa Park. A lot of you guys will love this suggestion. One more light style. And specifically he, he called out, nobody can save me and battle symphony, which is probably, probably pretty easy for me. Um, probably pretty, pretty fun. Last one, Spenu, 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 uh, once, a Aoki Martin Garrix EDM style track. Um, and requested a drop if possible. The drop is like actually the hardest part. I'm not a super, you gotta know your strengths, you know? I'm not super good at like drops. Um, not in the tradition, not in the EDM sense. Like I could do like a, like a, I'll, I'll play the hell out of a new metal drop. If that's a thing, but maybe, uh, grabbing paper it won't you know it won't be too I won't I won't I just don't want to cheat like I don't want to know what I'm grabbing um okay all right so I put all four of those in the box that means I can delete this these I'm so happy to to delete stuff off of my my lists of you guys are creating lists of things for me to have to fucking do. Serco. Uh, somebody said, can you do a trap song? Here's how that works. Save up your points. And when I open the music redeems back up, you can redeem them. Twenty-four hour stream. Ugh. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that shit. 
He goes, here's what's going to happen on a 24-hour stream. What will happen is I'll get around to, like, you guys will re uh, redeem a thing, and then I'll play it. I'll do it at, like, you know, 4 in the morning, and you'll miss it. I'm drinking coffee, Seashells. Seashells wants to know what I'm drinking. I'm drinking chicken coffee. All right, chicken coffee. Um, today, oh, the good news. I, that was the that was the, like the bad news, was the things, the inflation. The good news is some of you've already started doing this, started playing with these. We have a bunch of games. So, um, talk to other people in the chat about where, how to find the games, how to figure, how to play the games. They're chat-based games. Whenever you see somebody starting a, a a phrase with exclamation point something. That's how you usually initiate a game. Um, I've turned on a couple of them, uh, so we'll see what happens. One of them is very fun. It's very easy. It's just the magic eight ball. So if you guys know what a magic eight ball is and does, uh, you just type exclamation point eight ball, and then you ask the eight ball your question, and Streamlabs will um, shake the eight ball for you and answer and I've programmed in myself a bunch of answers for you um, people are also gambling you guys are rolling the hundred sided die and gambling your points very risky very risky um, and okay let's get to some music reflectionist Baz asked um, I could actually hit a couple questions before we start because Flexions Baz asked uh, about side chaining yesterday. And I figured I could start the stream out with a little example of, of that. Oh, in order to do that, I got to turn off this, this other music, don't I? Okay, turning it off. Okay, so um, here we are back in Ableton. Um, I, I wanted to do, I'll basically just load up two. Thing, uh, a couple things to show you side chaining. So let's take an instrument like um, let's take a drum rack. So I'll just put uh, a rack of just drum sounds up down here. Oh, weird. Okay. Okay. So here's some sounds. Let's find a Let's find a kick, because usually... I'm trying to find a nice one, but it's not so... These are a little annoying. God, okay. All right, so we're just gonna do this one. Um, I'll just loop this like 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 this section right here. Okay. Now let's do this and loop it. And we're just gonna do a little four on the floor drum uh, kick thing. Oh, oops. Let's get rid of this situation here and then go back down to this. Oh, you son of a gun. Turn that. So, oh, here's another fun way to do that. Here's a fun way to do that. Hang on. Let me see if I can uh, do this other. Okay, so I did it on my little, check this out. This is a fun thing. So um, Ableton also has like a, does like a step sequencer thing. Uh, where the bottom rows of the, um, let me see if I can show this to you. I don't know if this is going to, well, anyway. Um, so there's our, there's our, our kick. Okay. So um, if that's our sound, I'm going to turn off the metronome. Let's say that's our, our, you know, this is the sound that's going to activate the side chain. Okay, so you need one sound that is being side chained, and you need one sound that is causing 
the side chain, okay? Let's find a little... Let's just grab this little sound here. I'm just gonna add that. Okay, so we got two sounds now. We got that and we got this. Um, I'm just going to... That'll be our chord progression just to do it. Okay. My <laughs> funny thing about this is that I I didn't do it on the downbeat. <laughs> So, we've got the, the thing that's going to side chain things and the thing that's going to, the, the, the offense and the defense. <laughs> uh, the kick is going to cause the side chain. The keyboard is going to receive the side chain. The side chain, uh, I showed you the one yesterday where it's just basically like a uh, plug-in that um, kind of, if you're, you know, it's almost like it fakes the side chain. So here's LFO. This one's maybe by X for its LFO tool. So you can see that it, if I turn it way up, you can hear it kind of sucking the volume out of that. I'll make it even more extreme. You hear that? All right. Yeah. And you wrote Anna Shinoda would not approve. Spe oh, that was Streamlabs. How? How weird. Literally, when Anna says she can't, like, she can't listen to, like, EDM very much, it's this specific sound that she hates. It's the specific thing. So there's me. I got rid of it. Um, Here's what a side chain really is. Now that's like a fake side chain. Here's, like, here's what a re what it actually, uh, let me just find a compressor. Okay. So... Here's a compressor on our um, keyboard sound, okay? And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring this up uh, a little higher into the screen so you can see it better. This little uh, window down here on the bottom uh, with the black uh, box, um, that compressor basically, it's like what it does is it affects like the attack and the decay of sounds and in this case um, right now what it's doing is it's reacting to itself so if I if if this keyboard sound gets loud then the compressor will kind of push it down but if you choose to side chain by opening this up you can turn it on and select the input from the drum rack and now the kick you can see that little orange bit starting to push. Now the kick is the thing that's affecting the side chain. You hear that? It's very, fucks with your brain, man. But here's what's cool about doing a real, doing a real side chain instead of doing the um, LFO one. Instead of doing the LFO one, You can, it'll, it'll do it with whatever rhythm you choose to put into it. And now there are also side chains that'll react to MIDI information so that it'll do that even though, the, even if there's no sound. Um, this is actually something that's like, it, it's effective, it's, it's useful and effective and something, something you hear a lot on different things. I think I mentioned this before, if you, if you do this, if you find that your tracks are muddy, if you find that your tracks have like too many bass elements going on at once and when you play them on like a nice a bigger like in your car something louder with bigger with more bass and it just sounds like <laughs> then that then you can use something like this basically what i would suggest is choose one sound that you want maybe your your is your primary sub sound so that'll probably either be your kick your your 808 
or your base, right? One of those things is like the main thing. And then put that thing, use that thing as the, the primary low end and use and roll either roll off the subs on the other one or use something like this so that they trade off. Because theoretically with this, what's happening is the kick is the most present base thing for a moment. And then when it decays, the other thing comes forward and becomes the primary sub. Um, I hope that made sense. I hope that's helpful for those of you trying to make the music. I kind of like this saw sound that we just made. Actually, maybe I'll just keep both of those elements in this song. Um, both of those tracks. I'm going to remove this, the sound though itself. Uh, okay, so, so. I wonder if I could just choose the one. No, I have to choose the whole track. Okay. Let's check out the sounds that were submitted via redemption from the fans in the chat. Here are some of your sounds. I wrote them down. Um, let's pick a couple of them. I don't think I can use all of them in one song. Um, but I made a little folder of um, sounds.com redemptions. We've used some of them. We used we used that, I believe. Did we not? Did we use that one yet? Oh my God, it's so loud. Shut up. Shut up. Um, I don't know if we used that one. Okay, we're going to use... We used that, that monk, the second one. Uh, we didn't use this first scary one. I'll put that into the song today. Um, it is very scary. Okay. Um, we've got this. Okay. So I don't know who submitted that one. I actually don't know. I think I deleted the name accidentally. Um, make yourself known in the chat. Don't worry. We'll make that sound cool. We'll make it cool. Um, it is, it's not that it's not cool. It's just that I can tell it's a human being going with a human being with reverb going. Ah. <laughs> so, uh, that's not awesome, but we'll make it awesome. Okay. The show selected this sample. That's nice. So that was courtesy of the show. Patricia, back in the mix. She's here again. She selected, oh, this one keeps going, doesn't it? Sounds like we're trying to do like a Travis Scott track. Is that what you want? Oh, wow, there's really a lot of parts going on in this one. It's like a whole song. <laughs> Okay, maybe that's too much. Uh, Patricia picked this one. Yeah, nice. I like that one. Uh, music of music of resist um, chose this one. Cool. All right. Norway stung chose <laughs> chose this one that would be a cowbell thank you norway stung okay gem bm9 chose this pen flute maybe we should use that we should save that one for the um 90s 90s edm 90s dance song day <laughs> it's like almost like like Enya or something. Um, SpongeBrook 182. Ooh. All right. 
catchy bass line. Found this one. Hannah Shinbun uh, came with this one. Is this one? Where's the vocal riser? Oh, that was okay. So the the one with the um, dude, I can't. The thing is, I can't make them stop. There we go. Uh, the Hannah Shinbun was the one that did the vocal one that goes. Ah. So that was good. Um, Fenry Sakashi found this sample that's literally called Dope Shamisen Guitar. Katoda found this ukulele. And finally, Wait a minute. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. There's more than one cowbell. Where's the other one? I can't find it. Hold on. Hez Helps was the one who, who grabbed this cowbell. Um, Norway. Norway Stung has a different cowbell. Where is it? Maybe it didn't import yet. Okay, so I got to find that one. I got to find your second cowbell here. Um, let me just search it real quick and see if it's in here. If it's not, I got to bring it in another day. Um, oh, eight cowbell. No, it's not. Okay. Um, wow, guys. What do I feel like today? <laughs> I can make this cowbell. I'm gonna make I'm gonna bring the cowbell and make it work. <laughs> um let's make a sampler though. Let's make the cowbell a sample. Hey, cowbell. Cowbell's in. Uh, let's see. value those don't sound good together let me just try something with it real quick
chord progression, so... make that work vocal chops okay so we're gonna use the vocal chops the pringles the cowbell the dope shamisen guitar and the vocal riser oh i didn't fix the vocal riser Put the vocalizer. Let's give the vocalizer its own track. Um, right about here. The riser. Okay. Cool. Um, we'll mute that for now. Just mute it. Okay. Um, let's mess with this. So grabbed a couple drum sounds. these um there's a there's a uh, setting in here called engine and that is used to like imitate some other samplers so like this is imitating an mpc 60 this mp uh imitates the s sp 1200 and what happens with the sp 12 is when you pitch it down it gets really crunchy here there's like a bit crusher kind of like fuzziness to it when it gets lower. Especially there. I want the MPC 60 style for this one. little 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 simple chord progression going on with this thing um maybe maybe what was that saw sound like
I'm gonna put a MIDI effect in front of it that just keeps the, the velocity down. Trying to figure out what notes it's playing. Oh, it's just going high. I mean, you could do all kinds of weird. gonna go with it. Let's go with that. In the way. See if there's some cool textures or something to put behind this thing. I thought I had.
some embroidered like points. Okay, so I'm putting like a cassette. Oh, it's not a cassette, it's like a tube. What happens if I put a cassette on it? So this is like a cassette sound. I'm, I'm, I'm putting like a ducking thing on it that when the noise of the little click clack sounds happen, it pushes the cassette noise down. So I'm going to take that and just like I did with the other one, I'm going to bounce it to its own track out here. All right, cool. I got a couple of weird little, just weird little things to set a, get a vibe. Now we'll start to make the track, I think.
a different loop that are different drum parts that I think might be better.
Sleep mode off. Two sleep mode off. How did it not know that? This 
the drum thing comes to life. Cowbell.
crash. It's just the, uh, you know, audio interface. How are we doing?
Justine? What? That's dope. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the... I don't know what we're doing today. Um, let's go back to the top of this thing so they can catch it, so we can touch base, because I've been in the... Fuck, I've been in the zone <laughs> for, a, for like an hour. Um, so most of these... Half, half these sounds? Some of these sounds? Some of these sounds are ones that you guys in the chat picked out. Um, you earn your Shinoda bucks by being in the chat. Get your bucks. And you can redeem them to pick a sound. The sounds that we picked today, uh, one of the ones that was really cool started off with this. Where's the little... Uh, where's my little shamisen? Little Japanese thing. Was it shamisen or something else? Where was it? Let's find it. Where's this guy? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I need to make a new scene with this. Hang on. That and see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How's this part? We like this part? I am not. 
If he wants to do Animal Crossing Island visits, I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it. My, my island's gotten good, you guys. At least for me. It's still not as good as, um, oh God, who's, whose island was my first, who, whose island did I visit the first, uh, the first visit? Who was it? Is it Ari? Here in the chat. Ari's island was so dope. God, what an island. And Rise Island, Rise Island was as was great and less developed. Like she and I had been playing about the same amount of time. Ari's Island was like next level. Um. So okay, what should we do now? Should we do? Is this carousel? Um, what do you guys want to do? Looking in the chat. Oh, are you rich in you're you're super rich, you say? Who said that? You're super rich in Animal Crossing? Dude, I did I've done really well in the last couple weeks on on turnips, you guys. Yeah. I did pretty well. Um Let's answer some questions. Should we do some questions? Wheel. Oh, let's do the wheel. I'm so scared to do the wheel, guys. I'm scared of the wheel right now. I'm not gonna do the Streamlabs wheel. The Streamlabs wheel is glitchy. It crashed us. Okay. We're clicking on, I'm opening the wheel. Okay. What I don't, what I like about this wheel is it doesn't crash. What I don't like about this wheel is it doesn't make a noise. Like I liked how the other, no, what, the other wheel goes, are we gonna are we gonna should we bet on um should we do oh we can do bets now i wonder what the possibility of of we like create my own noise i should i should here's my noises okay ready hold on hold on can i just do yeah Okay, this is our noise. Okay, ready? Okay, here's our noises. We're not gonna bet today. Fire or meh. Okay, here's what we can do. Here's how we'll do it. We're gonna bet, and there's only six, there's six, six things on here. These are the six things, okay? Needs more, needs less, nice to be bike, get weirder. Meh, and fire. Um, if I'm going to set, I'm going to start a bet in the chat with, with the, um, it's going to be Streamlabs bet. So here's how that's going to work. Um, I've got to edit my bet. Um, this is what will the wheel say? Um, You can oh wow, I gotta erase these two. Okay. Okay, so we've got meh and we got fire. If you get either of these, okay, you've got your those of you guys who are who are who are gambling Shinoda bucks, the max bet. Um, is going to be uh, a, thou a thousand? I don't want to do a thousand. It's too much. I'm going to do 150. I'm going to do 150. Um, I'll do 250. Okay, 250. And if you, if you, if it says one of those two things, if it says if it's if it says meh and you guess meh, you win. 
If it says fire, and you guess fire, you win. If it says anything else, you don't win. Those are my terms. Those are my terms. Okay, hold on. I haven't started the thing yet. I haven't started it yet. I'm going to set it for, um, what is this, three minutes? Uh, I don't, how come this thing... How come how are three hundred? All right. I didn't it's up. It's up now. The betting has begun. Meh is uh yeah. So you here's what you type. You type exclamation point bet, and then you type either meh or fire, and then you type an amount that you would like to bet. Currently there are 30 bets in. The loyalty pot. Um, we are at 30 seconds. Um, you can put in your bets now. And keep in mind, if it hits any of the other things, you lose your bet, you lose your bucks. So I didn't want to set this too high. <laughs> you guys always bet. Meh. <laughs> but it's a one out of six that you're gonna win. That's the thing. That's your odds. One out of six. But, but it's one out of six. But if you get it, you double your money. Whew. Oh, it's a risky business. How about one more minute? I feel like the bets are slowing down. Okay, we'll do one more minute. We'll do 40 more seconds. Good luck to you all. Whew, it's dangerous. All right, shutting it down. Shutting it down, shutting it down. Closing the betting. Okay, the bet, the, the pool is over. It's over. Are you guys ready? Click on the wheel to spin it. Here we go. Hold up, I gotta turn this up. Here we go. Oh, it's going slow first. And then I, I'm automating my own. Oh, you almost had it. You almost had it. You almost got it. Oh, it was so close to fire. And to meth, by the way. It was so close. Oh, that sucks. Wait a minute, though. I can't give you, I can't choose one that's not here. <laughs> I can't choose. I can't choose a, um, a a a a winner that's not one of those two things. It won't let me. So guess what happens? Guess what happens? We give you your money back. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Cancel. Boom. You get your money back. Look at that. All right. That was kind of weird, but okay. Fine. <laughs> it wants me to get weirder. The wheel wants me to get weirder with the track now, guys. Um, how do I do that? Big F. Am I did my stream crash? No, it didn't crash. Okay. Um just checking some of these uh Whispers for the, uh, yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, um, uh, add mariachi. <laughs> Let me see if there's some other, other, um, sounds in here that, you know, because we had these, um, these other fan sounds. Maybe there's another fan sound. That works. Let's find out. Oh, I didn't use this one.
あ。Almost got it, guys. What we've got, we've got the. Um, we got this guy. Oh, we're saving this though for the 90s dance song day. Look at this.、Uh, I don't want to use ukulele. I think this will work. The Travis Scott thing. That probably works. Want to try it? Let's try it. What key are we in? Happening. Huh. What can I do with this thing? Let's mangle it a little bit. So this is a chorus effect. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I didn't want that. I wanted this. I wanted a、uh, altar boy. Okay, here we go. Ew. That's not awesome. Uh, echo boy, make it a little echoey. It's cooler. Oh, sorry, I was off screen. My bad. 
This is grain delay. That's a uh, machine plugin. This is micro shift, which is uh, sound toys. It looks like that. And then Echo Boy, which is also sound toys. Looks similar, but different. That is a delay. Micro shift's basically a chorus. Um, cool. Let's do our fake side chaining. Better if I come from here, if I actually bring in that other keyboard sound, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna turn this up a little.
five measure part. into that i was into it um cool well let's uh let's wrap it up about there i think that's a nice place to be um we'll um let's see here i'll loop this up and we'll answer some questions because a lot of you guys had them um what root what's that time to wrap up um yeah thanks for this for the sound suggestions probably used like six of them today um from that you guys picked out that was cool um let me grab some of these closer here grab some of these questions um from the last couple weeks um And yes, I did see some of you asked if I had seen, um, was it Mona redeemed an Animal Crossing Island visit? I saw that. Don't worry. I saw you. Yeah, Mona LP. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do some questions. Um, we had one from, um, Let's see here. Okay, Luna Dragon says, Hi Meek, I study animation and I've been working on a story completely inspired by Linkin Park songs. My dream is to bring the project to life one day. I just want to say thank you for the inspiration. Thanks, Luna Dragons. Uh, Dan Yeager says, Hey, Mike, I was at the Atlanta show October uh, 2018. I love your message. The crowd sang wonderfully, too. Thanks for doing what you do. Thanks, guys. So cool. Um, Alexa says, Hey, Mike, I want to say you mean... Alexa327 says, hey, Mike, thanks for dueling me and giving me my money back. Uh, thanks for doing what you do. Oh, sorry. Just want to say you mean so much to me and have helped get me get through a lot when I felt down. I love and appreciate you so much. Thanks, Alexa. I'm glad I gave you your Shinoda bucks back because you're nice. Um, Casey KK says... I met you on the post-traumatic tour, but I was too nervous to talk. I want to say thanks for the tour, the streams, and sharing my art that one time. I hope it wasn't too weird. You're the best. Not a question. I know. Uh, good job, Casey. Um, Peppa Park says, I imagine you being disappointed about what are you worth leaking. Would you consider reworking it in the future sets? Um, what Are You Worth was a song that we worked on for One More Light. And I wasn't, I only, I only get bummed out when people leak songs because when like it's an unfinished song and it's not, you know, when it's like somebody else um, just doing it for, I don't know. Like, I feel like, if I make a song with somebody and and it doesn't work out, like they're welcome to do what they want with their part of it. But don't like do what you want with my part of it. I think that's I think that's rude. I think that's really not so awesome. So that part of it sucks. If you're a music maker and you and that situation goes on where you make a song with somebody and they don't want to put it out. I'd say be respectful of their contribution on the song. 
Um, otherwise, it's like why we're not gonna like you've. Otherwise, you shut the door on working with them again, right? Like, but I guess it makes sense. It's not like you know, it's not a big deal. It's a small deal. Um, and no, I don't really. I didn't. I didn't really love the song personally. I thought it was okay. Um, so I wouldn't want to like re rework it or anything. Safira Shinoda says, Hey Mike, I hope you're well. Well, uh, a shout out to Hey Cupcake, Shen the Genius, and Bin Binks Zero. Uh, to name a few of my favorite wombats. We can we wonder if you would follow us on Twitter forever or only for a day if we redeemed four thousand bucks. Um why Twitter? Kinda Twitter's kind of like a cesspool. I mean like it is what you make of it like i know that like a lot of fans you know um do like have you know worthwhile conversations on twitter and i don't i use twitter still it's like you know because it's a viable way to communicate but um yeah um What you guys are mad? So how dare you, sir? How you mad at me that I don't like Twitter? You, it depends on how you use it. I just, I guess, I just use it poorly. Um, it's too toxic. Safira Shinoda says, "Would you collab with with Hollybrook Skylar Gray? And what are your favorite pair of shoes?" <laughs> those are two really. Those two questions back to back are. So good, so good. Oh, did I not have that on my my face? The screen. Sorry. There you go. Um. God, I don't. Yeah, wait. Yeah, we don't really talk to Skylar Gray anymore. But um, so I, you know, that seem that would seem weird. Um, favorite pair of shoes. Um. Um. I the one of the only. One of the only um, pairs of sneakers that like give me an emotional, like I have like an emotional reaction to them. Actually, there's two, and one of them I can't, you can't get, really, and that's partially why I have. There were two pairs of sneakers that I like begged my parents for when I was a kid, and. They're both Nikes. One of them was the um, AirTech Challenge 2s. Um, they were just, it's just, that was the era. Those are the most popular, like one of the most popular shoes at the time. I was like way into those. And then the other one, I forget the name of it. It was the, they were the Patrick Ewing high tops, like really high top force um, basketball shoe. And they had like, what color were they? I saw them in an ad. Like somebody posted some old basketball ad, some old Nike ad, and they were in, and it was that ad. And I was like, dude, those. The reason that I had an emotional reaction here's why. Like people who don't like give a shit about sneakers don't understand this thing. Um. When. Like my parents would buy me a pair of sneakers at the beginning of the school year. And I think that was it. I think that's all. I think that was the only time I get, I got sneakers. Occasionally I get them one other time. You got a new pair of shoes like once a year. So it's like very, that's like, you know, it's a lot of riding on one pair of sneakers. Uh, so, um, yeah. Anyway. Um, Yasmina says, Hey Mike, thanks for, for your live, live streams, generosity, humor, 
Uh, we te you teach us about music and art and tackling important subjects. Um, oh, it got cut up. Sorry, Yasmina. Um, but I appreciate what you said. Um, Susan Blackwell says, thanks for, congrats on the Twitch partnership. Thanks for sharing your amazing talent and making me smile. Uh, thank you. Um, Mitchell McCormack 05 says, what's the story behind the famous 17 second given up scream? We answered that. Um, it was like, it wasn't planned. He was just trying to get the, he was just trying to scream that part over the right amount of time and then just got this wild, I like, he just felt like keep like doing one where he, it was so aggro and he knew it was good and he just kept going for way too long and he just screamed right over top of the chorus coming back in and that's why it was what it was. Um, Leela by my side said, I had two thoughts, but I went with a drawing of my a, a, a Arabian Mao cat brothers that I rescued and adopted from Dubai? That is not a question, Leela by my side. That is not a question, unfortunately. Um, oh shoot, did I just, Leela by my side, I think I, I think that was a, that was an art theme that she redeemed. Hold on, gotta write it down. Yet another, did I write this one down already? Oh, I did it. I already have it. That's good. Okay. So I already wrote down all these art themes. Did I? <gasps> I think you guys, I think I made it through all the questions on the old Shinoda bucks. That's why I messed that up. No way. Lux Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work. Norway Stong. Okay. So we are officially done with the old old bucks stuff and moving to just new bucks questions how about that how about that i did it yay i'm finally uh... <laughs> we did it guys we we did it we did it and now it starts all over again. All over again. <laughs> Here's a couple questions from the new Shinoda Bucks. Ready? Nadine says, I held your hand in Ludwigsburg. Like, she says, last year I held your hand in Ludwigsburg. Are we friends now? Of course. We're friends. You're here. Of course. Um, oh, God. Um, Panda Ninja says, thanks for everything. What was the concept of the post-traumatic video that got lost? Oh, that's the... Um, hold it together video right do you guys remember i was some of you were at coming to the shows and i had um we were some of you saw us filming the um the video and we got so much of it done we got like the, the we had this whole scene it was the whole idea of just like partially inspired by some of the Missy Elliott videos from like the early 2000s where it was at Hype Williams. You did all these like jittery, like weird things. So I, I did the weird, was it in reverse? I was doing it reverse and I was doing it, I think some of them were doing takes in fast forward. But anyway, we're doing, I was like, mem I had memorized the chorus in reverse. And I did this whole one where I, this whole thing where we set up this shot with, we had multiple cameras shot, handheld, 
It was on stage, and I did this whole thing where I came to the stage. So at the end of the show, show's over, crowd's there. And then I leave the stage. And then from off stage, they all get in position. And we did this whole choreographed thing with like streamers and lights and like, I don't remember what else. And me walking backwards to the stage and um, played in reverse. It was so cool because I was talking to the camera and then I was like doing the words and I finished on the stage and then it like the the streamers went like back into the things uh, like the poppers went into the popper and it was great it was like we couldn't believe we had one take to get it right we couldn't believe it. we got it and then at the end of the tour the hard drive was um, accidentally confiscated by the airport police and we believe we believe that what happened was it was in chatty's bag and then all of a sudden it wasn't and it was his mistake to not back it up so sucks and that was just one of the scenes like we had done all these scenes with the crew and everything but you can't recreate those moments and you can't i mean it's just not possible. So that's a bummer. But... Oh my God. Such a funny question. Um, Eva P rocks. Eva P rocks. E-V-A-P-R-O-X-X. Um, do you remember, Mike, do you remember when somebody threw a bra and it landed on your mic stand? Yes. I do remember that because I saw the video later. <laughs> I don't, I didn't, and that was so, that, well, that was like really long time ago, huh? Um, oh my God. That was so awkward. Especially the era of like, we were like on all these metal shows and everybody was like super tough and cool and shit. And we were just in the, really like locked into our music. As I recall, was somebody, Peppa Park, Sweden, 2007. It was like June 26th at 7.38 p.m. is when it happened. <laughs> All right, fine. You guys are funny. Um, Peppa Park has a question. Oh wait, you already asked your question and I told you. You chose a music theme. Here, I'm gonna re I'm gonna refund this. You chose a music theme and I asked you to re to resubmit it. Peppa Park, please resubmit your um, thing just so I can have like I can approve it properly. Resubmit your um, music thing. Wait, was it a music thing? Oh shit. Wasn't it a music thing? Does that mean I can't that was you in here, huh? Wasn't it? Yeah, that was one more light. Shit. I just gave you your bucks back, you son of a gun. Will you resubmit it? Just, um, oh, fuck. I can't do that because I can't. Ugh. I got to go in and like. Okay, so what happened was, you guys are like, what is happening? Why does it? What happened was, it was a music. I didn't mean to have the music themes turned on. You, Peppa Park redeemed one um which is fine because it was my mistake so i put those in the bowl today those are in the bowl problem is i didn't re confirm the redemption so you're gonna see i have to manually take out the like shinoda bucks out of your thing now so just to pay for the to redeem actually redeem the music thing it's my mistake super stupid but you know what are you gonna do I won't do it at the new rate, by the way. Uh, I just noticed yesterday that um, you could spell Shinoda Bucks with a dollar sign. By the way, I can just like go in and take and give 
your bucks. I'm just gonna, like, if you guys are rude in the chat, I'm just gonna take your bucks. Yeah, Shinoda bucks with a dollar sign on both ends. Oh, that's like Metallica. With like the, like you could do like a spike, like their logo. Um, let's see here. Ooh, Nadia wants us to raid Young Gun. Hmm. We're going to raid Young Gun right now. It is time for a raid. Let's see if Young Gun is on. Is Young Gun... How many followers does Young Gun have? Young Gun is live. Look at that, you guys. Okay, so... Natia, N-A-T-I-A, underscore... We are going to raid um, Young Gun because she redeemed a raid. There we go. Um, and Oh, wait, I can do that here. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're going to raid Young Gun. Um, and should we pick pick uh, stuff out of the bowl for tomorrow before we do that? Oh, you want to do Art Day? We should do Art Day. Let's do Art Day tomorrow. We'll draw. I'm going to draw tomorrow. Draw and pint. Hey, Simply Pineapple just followed. Thanks, Simply Pineapple. We've been waiting for you. Today is a big day, you guys. Simply Pineapple followed a second ago. And we've been waiting for you to arrive, to be a part of our world. She loves vibes and Foggy Murph and Desmo 3, all followed. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Um, tomorrow we're going to do art. Oh, geez, lots of followers now. Cry G J Germ. Cry G G Cry G -G Germ. And Glawa7 both followed. Mystery School US followed. Guys, thanks for following. Um, yeah, so we'll do an art day tomorrow. And what did I say? Young Gun. We're going to raid. Young Gun. Let's see if Young Gun is still on. Yes, 110 people watching. Ooh, he's got an Enter Shikari shirt on and he's playing guitar for you. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm going to go have some lunch. You guys are going to watch this guy play guitar. Um, shout out to Mr. Beats, Merlin Abba, Merlin Abla, the dangerous ant. <laughs> Somebody whose name is just numbers. Ailo Marcos. Thanks for following, guys. Okay, um, I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do some art. Okay, thanks for joining. Let's raid.